kanske kan se. Vad är cirkeln med? everyone why are you telling him to put his boobies away boobies on out yeah ghost girl welcome to the chat I did eat my dinner. I cooked tonight too. I let her cook half my recipe though. It was my idea. It was my recipe before we it was just. Her recipe, I added. We just changed to, it a little bit. Whose suggestion? A little bit. Someone on Instagrams. No, it's mine. <laughs> we need to do this. Hi. Here I am trying to move. <laughs> Well, you are quite big in it too. Massive. Mm. There we go. Uh, what did you cook? Explain what you cooked. I made protein pizza. It was delicious. It's like um, yogurt. It's supposed fat, to be self fat, fat free yogurt. Fat free yogurt, like Greek yogurt. Uh, we were supposed to do self raising flour, but we had none, so I did normal baking flour. And I put protein powder, like vanilla, in it. And then some baking powder. It was pretty damn good. Yeah. For, a, for a pizza base. For a pizza base. For a protein pizza base. It was like solid too. Yeah. It was it had a good crunch. Yeah. Which is the hard part when you're trying to do good. Exactly. But it was pretty good in calories too. 600 calories? Yeah, for a whole pizza it was like... 681 cal. I have it in my phone. Let me just bring it up. Cause, you know, We're giving you sneak we, peek menu items here. Yeah, we track this shit, so, you know. So it was 682 calories. It was 55.9 grams of carbs, 6.2 grams of fat, and 96.2 grams of protein. Boom shakalaka, motherfuckers. She was good. It was very good. I ate it. And I don't know if I'm still hungry. Because I haven't really been eating today. Well, I have, haven't I? Yeah. yeah. We've had your meals. I'm satiated. Yeah. I'll be hungry soon. We're always hungry. Always. But it was pretty good. Tasted a little bit like vanilla. That was the first time I used vanilla protein in it. Yeah, that was my idea. That was his idea. I normally just do self-raising flour. But... We got more protein. Yes. And less carbs by adding that. Mm -hmm. So it was good. Very good. But uh, yeah, we just thought we'd pop on here and keep the streak of us getting on. Because we went on a streak. Yeah, we were on a streak. We are on a streak. We are. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the pizza was very good. Ah, it was very good. But uh, yeah, we've been on streaks. So we thought we'd pop on. We have early mornings tomorrow. We both fly out in separate directions. Yeah. I got two flights tomorrow. I have one. I fly to Texas and then... Pittsburgh. Hey, it's Maddie. Appreciate the gifting the uh, sub to the community. Ray Mac, Hello. Hello! Hello! Who's seeing me tomorrow? Maddie's seeing you tomorrow, apparently. Maddie, you coming to Texas, mate? Could be a girl. It's Maddie. Maddie. Oh, shit. 
Whatever it is, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> They <laughs> really want the tortilla chip. No, it's not 2 a.m. She's at 6, I'm at 8. Cooking live ASAP. Well, you know, we might be bringing that to you at some point. Never know. Yeah, you gotta wait for the tortillas. He doesn't want to get hit yet. He's nervous. Si, sí, senor. <laughs> My new present cup. Should I buy her one? <laughs> I feel like people are going to be outside. <laughs> 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 you should buy me one. <laughs> King got a new one. It's kind of re fired me up. He's like, he goes through phases of wanting to get a new car. I go through phases. <laughs> when we first started seeing each other, he wanted to get a fucking truck. I almost bought a Lamborghini. What? I'm not even joking. Yeah. You're just to say I had one. Crazy. Just to say I had one. They've sold out of Lamborghinis. Really? Yeah, and they're not going to uh, bring any more out until 2024. Hmm. Apparently. I read that 
Could be wrong. Most likely you're wrong. Maybe. I do like the new Broncos though. You know, I'm like, what what brand's Bronco? And like, I think it's just Bronco. I don't know what it is. It's a Ford. Is it? Yeah. I think they look cool. I've seen a lot of them around lately. Ooh, that Dodge is a nice color. That's red. No, the other one. The purple one. What about this one? TV Boy. GT. <gasps> I am correct. Someone said I'm correct. What? About the Lamborghini shit. Look at that. That's nice. A Jeep and a truck put together. What could go wrong? The transmission. <laughs> Everything, because it's a Jeep. It's folds fucking apart. Do they? Are they that? Are they shitty like that? Well, I know that the ones in Australia, like you shouldn't get them in Australia because it so costly to get the parts over there um, my dad wouldn't let me get one pretty much because all the parts come from america so i guess they fuck up a lot but it'd be easy to get the parts here it's a v6 a hellraiser but that's cool but it's not going to have the oomph that mine has and i'm all about oomph he does like the fast cars I'm a V8 guy. Well, this looks the same as mine, yeah. Jeeps are not ugly, Hayden. Jeeps are pretty. But you have to get pretty like, ugly. No. You like Jeeps too. I like the like square ones though. I, I like square cars. I don't like rounded ones. I don't like rounded cars at all. This is your green one. Mm. I might just type it in. Jeep. Oh, Jeep trucks. Jeep trucks are cool too. They're not ugly, bro. There's your gladiator. They're snazzy. I've never heard. What's a cyber truck? I don't know. It's imaginary. A cyber truck. That's sick. The Rubicon. Rubicon Ute. It's a nice grey too. Yeah, same grey. It's got red accents. I what the word is. Accents. It's pricey though. Is it? Me? Connie's. Yeah, my Connie guy. Connie's or Vans. But I've been wearing my Connie's a lot more lately. They're just flat. Easy to work out in. Renegade! Black hats. 100%. Camo is pretty good though. The second yeah. best. Yeah. Camo anything. You can get Tim Tams on Amazon. Um they're they're a little bit different, I wanna say, because I feel like they're just older. But you can get them off Amazon. And they're fucking good. You know what I really want? What? A hype train. <laughs> well, stop looking at cars and get into the chat, bruh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Come on, guys. Give me a hype train. And get me hyped up. <laughs> you gotta move this way. Why is this camera so off? I don't know. Oh, yeah. I think it's... I think I just got that. How about that? I mean, you gotta get closer. I'm getting overshined by your shoulder. Yeah. Why are you so huge, bro? 
so much because I don't understand any of it. What? Are you doing this? Like that? Like that? Is that better? Yeah. Maybe this map back to this. Dancer, appreciate you gifting out subs to the community. I like to put this here. Put this here. Mm. Why do you want to go up? Because you're hiding me. Sorry guys, I'm just fucking around with it. She's a giant. I'm a giant. Ah! <clears throat> Had to crack my back. <laughs> and, and pose at the same time. <laughs> You guys seen Black Phone? Black Phone, yes, best movie of the year so far. I feel like we get that question every yeah. time we do the chat. Being boozled. I'll do being boozled. Oh, I'll do it too. But I swear to God, if I get the vomit flavored one, I'm probably going to vomit. It's gross. Should I get a cat or a dog? A dog, bro. Dogs all the way. Have you seen Dragon Ball Super Superhero yet? No, not yet. Um. I haven't even watched Dragon Ball Super yet, but I just haven't had time. I'll get, I'll, I'll get around to it. Would you rather get a dog or a jeep? I already got two dogs, so I'm gonna go with jeep. I got enough mouth to feed. Is that a shot of me? <laughs> no. It's a shot of broccoli. <laughs> Have you seen the movie 31? 31 is the one with the face, the clown. Watched it? Yes. There's your Bronco. Oh, there she is. What a beautiful beast. What about that one? Blank. It's red. <laughs> it's all we've ever seen now. There's another one there. To the right. No Next to it. Um, Alright, let's get back in this chat. Sorry, we're getting distracted by that. him looking at cars. That's the one that I told you to look at before. Ah, no, it's different. Is it? It's the same color. Yeah. These look cool. The Durangos? It's definitely a soccer mom car. No, you black it all out. So 
salty spud. I have lost my accent a bit. But like every time we go home, it gets thicker again. But I've, I've, I say a lot of American words. I don't mean to, it's just it comes out. He calls me out on it all the time. Yeah. Charlotte? <laughs> Charlotte? Um, who gives more love? Who gives more sass? Uh, Luna is definitely the sassy one in the relationship, and Barry is the lover. All he wants to do is cuddle. He doesn't care where you are, or what time of the day it is. He just wants to cuddle, um, or play fetch. But Luna, legit. Did you give him his tire? I did. Is he this, loved it. Is this right? No. He couldn't do it? He's been... So we bought him, like, this little tire. It's like, I think it's made out of actual So tire. I actually... So I, yeah. I buy him toys because I want to know if he can break it. He breaks everything. And I, there was one, I was like, there's no way he can get through this. I was like, he will. Five minutes later, hole in it. He didn't believe me. We went on about this fucking toy for, like, two months. We didn't buy it. And every time we walked past it, he's like, I don't think he could ruin it. I don't think he could rip, rip it up. I don't think so. Look what it's made out of. I'm like, it's going to last five minutes. He bought it, and it lasted five minutes. But we got him a tyre, and I think it's actually made out of a tyre. And it's, like, little... But he, I, he I tested, it. I tested it out. Yeah, he did. He bit it. <laughs> she laughed at me. She said, "Did you just do that or what?" She said, "Did you just try and eat buy it?" Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it's actually lasted really well, and he loves it. He's been throwing it around. But the thing is, he started this oh, thing. Jesus fuck. Sorry. <laughs> he started this thing. He'll get it, and I'll ignore him because he just won't stop. So he'll start crying. Oh really? He starts fucking crying and looking at me, and it's loud. And he just wants me to throw it, but you don't understand, it's so frustrating. I don't want to throw it anymore. <laughs> Barry. He's the biggest menace when it comes to toys. The biggest. That's why I don't buy anything for him. I don't give him tennis balls, because he will not give up a tennis ball That's true. for the he's, life he's of He's pretty him. bad with the tennis balls. Very bad with tennis balls. Like, if I go on a walk and he sees one and he grabs it, you won't get that motherfucker off him the whole walk. He will walk home with the tennis ball in his mouth, drooling down the sides, and expect to bring it inside. And he'll sit at the door if you don't let him take it out. Uh, if you don't let him bring it in. He'll sit at the door wanting to go outside to get the fucking tennis ball. It's ridiculous. So I used to do that to my dogs, and I'd go, I'll throw it, and I'd fucking just leave it. So I'd go like that, and you'd jump, and I'd hide the ball. Mm. Then he'd be like looking for it for fucking ages. I felt so guilty, yeah. but like... But it's too much. You have to, there's no stopping. <laughs> that shit to do. Look at that. Super. It's round, though. It looks like... That, it's, that's pretty dope, dude. Nah. Really? It looks like a... <laughs> that you don't like that? It looks like a shitty toenail. One that curves around the top. Wow. <laughs> She's saying this car looks like an ingrown toenail. <laughs> <laughs> it does. You heard it here, guys. <laughs> the new Supra looks like an ingrown toenail. <laughs> So many Barry pigs. Do all the dogs get along? Yeah. For the most part. Barry loves me and Izzy protects me. So they don't really care about each other, but Izzy will protect me. Yeah, Luna just walks around. She doesn't give a shit. But last time they all met, Barry just wanted to fetch the ball. Yeah. So he didn't even come near us. He just ran around with a tennis ball and sat in the water. But 
Ryuk, he's just a stray cat, but he's pretty much like a dog. Like he'll lay on the ground and meow until the dogs run up to him and bite him, and then he's satisfied. He loves it. He's so weird. He's such a weird cat. He's a cool cat, though. He is a cool cat, but he's weird. Um, more Luna pics. I would post more pictures of Luna, but she hates the camera. Every time I pull my phone out around her, she hides her face. Uh, she just doesn't like it and she knows what's going on. She's so smart. Where Barry's just so dumb, he doesn't realize what's happening. So he just sits there wondering why I told him to sit. And he's just smiling because that's just what he does. But Luna, she will run away and hide. She doesn't like it. So that's why there's not really many Luna pics and more Barry pics. He's an adorable dumbass. to um, a farm it was like a animal sanctuary sort of thing because he was just too much Kyle I loved Kyle but he was extremely stupid um, he was the only ferret that I knew that didn't shit in the litter box he decided to shit through the cage onto the wall and sleep in the litter box which was not good for my apartment um, and I just felt bad for him because he was all alone and and Raquel, she had Pablo, but Pablo killed her lizard. Um, so she really despised Pablo every time she looked at him. So we just decided to take him to an animal sanctuary where they could live with like eight other ferrets and live the rest of their life happy. But yeah, I couldn't give him the life he deserved. We're not gonna get a snake. Not a fucking chance. I would love to. He a little bit scared. <laughs> Your face when I said snake. Not a chance. <laughs> I like snakes. I don't like the idea of feeding a snake a mouse though. It makes me myself getting a spider. I don't want to touch it. I like spiders, but I don't want them on me. <laughs> and if it escaped, 
I think it has to move. Tell me to get all the animals in the world, but I've got enough. I've got a lot. And I'm not really home that much. So, I don't think I should get any more. <coughs> or at all. Yeah. I don't think I should get any more. Have you guys ever seen a big spider in Australia, are they real? Yes. I remember one time I was sitting in my lounge room and I looked out the window and I was like, what the fuck is that in the middle of the road? So I got my dad, we went outside and I shit you not, it was a spider dragging a rat down the middle of the road. And that has never left my mind because it was fucking terrifying. Control. This is my stream now. House of Rhea. House of Rhea. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a lot of like freaky ass animals in Australia. Like a lot. Um, I've seen most of them too. They're fucked. Absolutely fucked. This chat's moving so fast. Um, House of Puppy. That's a better name. I'm gonna go with that. House of Puppy. I'm just trying to keep up with this chat, guys. It's going so quickly. I think you should take a vacation to Australia. It's a lovely place. It's very beautiful. Um, you just need to be careful where you're stepping and always be aware of your surroundings. But it makes you like sharp. It makes you snappy. Um, but it's worth it. It really is. Like I, I'd go back in a heartbeat. I, I can't though, but I would. I really would. But you also, you get tougher living in Australia, I feel. Um, the amount of times that I've had like extremely venomous snakes slither past me like maybe a meter away. Or I've walked into a fucking spider web where luckily the spider ran up instead of down. I've had a white tip spider in my bedroom which is a very, very venomous spider. Um, it was actually in my bed. I took my cover off and it was in my bed. And then I lost it. And I was like, y'all, <laughs> not sleeping in this room tonight. So I closed the door, put the little thing up against the little crack underneath the door and we sealed it up for the night. And I was like, I'll fight it tomorrow. But yeah, it's, it's <laughs> probably not saying the right stuff, but it's worth it. It really is. telling you guys all the dangerous stuff so that when you're there you can look out for it I'm like your Australian guide you know you feel me 
I'm just trying to help. Would I stretch my ears again? Well, I didn't want to go past like two sizes ago. <laughs> but they keep getting pulled when I'm wrestling. And then my gauges fall out because they're not the right size anymore. So I'm forced to go up. But I didn't want to go past two sizes ago, so I'm not planning on it, but it will probably happen. I've never thought about stretching my septum piercing. Number one, fuck that. Number two, ouch. Number three, I will end up ripping my nose in half wrestling. So there is no point. <laughs> Absolutely not. Favorite color is red. Because I can't pick black. But I, I love red. And I, I, do, I actually really like blue as well. Red and blue are my favorite colors. Dean. Dean Gill. Good old Dean Winchester. I mean, they've told me to take my piercings out before wrestling, but do you think I listen? Do I really listen to anyone? No, I don't care. I, like, uh, I've been told so many times that I need to take my piercings out. But at the end of the day, what's a little bit of pain? It's a little bit of blood. It makes it look cooler. I don't really give a shit. If it, if it gets ripped out, it gets ripped out. Most of the time I end up ripping it out myself. Um, but yeah, I, don't, I just don't care. So... I guess that's my answer. <laughs> yeah, so the match with Eo. The match with Eo, I had like... So I've had my seconds and thirds pierced like... I want to say four or five times. And they never heal. Like, ever. I'm going to blame wrestling for that. But like, I, I picked Eo up and put her on the top and my second and third piercing got stuck in the fishnet on her pants and I couldn't it felt like an eternity that I was stuck there I made eye contact with this person in the crowd and I was like this is getting awkward now I have no choice like I can't undo it it's not letting like I was trying and it just wasn't doing anything so I was like you know what fuck it I just went <laughs> ripped them all out my gauge came out too which ripped my my hole I don't really know what else to call it it's just a hole in my ear and everything was bleeding the skin was completely ripped I had to get it cut um, it was a fun time a little bit of blood made it look cool didn't really hurt I don't really have much feeling anymore when it comes to that shit it's just a normal pain, like sensation of pain I guess Buddy went to go get ready for his show tomorrow, so he's shaving and showering because he's very last minute with all of that stuff. So he left me all by myself with you guys. The eyebrow slit was my idea. I just like to think of like different shit to do. I always like to like try something out and I just, I don't know. I like I've always wanted one. Why not? If I don't like it, I'll just put makeup on. So I just did it. <laughs> it suck. <sighs> Australians are different breeds. I have, yeah, I, I agree with that completely. Especially Australian females. We are different breeds. <laughs> yeah, it is true that I wanted to get a tattoo during 
during war games. I wanted Bianca to bring out a tattoo gun and I wanted her to tattoo a pair of lips on me in the ring. Since it was four on two, you know, I was like, why not? Y'all can hold me down. I'll take one for the team, rip my pants open so it just goes into my leg sleeve, you know? No one's going to notice it. I thought it'd be cool. I don't know if you get like the battery powered ones, but it wasn't very hygienic, so we didn't go that route. <laughs> Rita is the Steve of WWE. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I like to do dumb shit. I'm surprised I haven't been hurt more, to be honest. I don't know if I ever want to do a death match. I don't know. I'm like crazy, but I'm not that crazy. Anything that includes like glass or light tubes or mirrors, I'm just not really down for because that shit can get messy real quick. Like you, it's sharp as fuck. And one little slip or one little like mishap, you could slice an artery and die. Uh, so I don't know if I'm really down for that. Um, if I were to do a death match, it would not include any of those things that I just listed. It would more, more or less be a bloody no DQ match, to be honest. Um, but I do love stipulation matches, so I can't wait for my next one. I don't know when it's going to be, but hopefully soon, because I miss swinging chairs and kendo sticks and I love that shit. Tomorrow I fly out very early. I have to be up at five. And I fly to Texas. And then after the signing, I fly straight to Pittsburgh for Raw. So, busy day. Get back Tuesday. Leave Wednesday for the UK. It's, it's gonna be a busy couple weeks. It's moving so fast. Shaved head rear? Bro, my, my head is an egg. <laughs> my head is the most egg-shaped head I think that there is. I don't think I could ever shave my head. I don't know. I shaved the sides and that's that's probably as far as that's going to go. <laughs> I can't. I can't do it. Looks like a damn boiled ass egg. <laughs> Mr. Clean rear error. <laughs> The only time that I would be bold is if I were to lose a hair versus hair match. But that's that's the only time. <laughs> I don't know when I'm getting a thigh tattoo. Um I definitely want to do it. The only problem with that is now I wear shorts. So I really have to... Well, I wear pants too, but I have been wearing shorts a lot more. So I have to pick a time where I can get it finished and it doesn't... Um, 
affect like 2k games or action figures I just need to like make sure that when I get it it's completely done before I go on TV sort of thing um, and I just gotta work out what I want to put there I'm not sure because that's that's my the best spot on that leg um, that leg sleeve is all like random things that are important to me where my other leg is just like supernatural monsters and shit that I like that's like creepy sort of stuff um, but the one that's bare I want to I want to put something there that's very like sentimental I just I don't know what to put there yet I am cleared to wrestle um, I'm not entirely sure why I haven't but at the same time, I'm loving not doing much and just beating up the men. Um, I'm having a lot of fun, so I can't complain. I would dye my hair red. I think red's a real cool colour. Um, but I don't think that's really ever going to happen until maybe after my career is done here. I like the black. I, I really like the black hair. I feel like black hair is my normal colour. Even though it's not. I feel like it suits me the most. Like I look at photos of me with blonde hair now and I'm like, ew. <laughs> Like, why did I think that looked good? I don't know, I just... I don't know, I like the black, I like it a lot. It's a little bit dark brown at the moment. My hair doesn't hold colour very well. Um, so the black sort of falls out and it goes like a dark brown. I need to do it again. I really need to. My natural hair colour is like... So when I was a kid, it was like... Pretty much white. Like, as a baby, it was very, very blonde. I mean, I think I, I came out and it was brown. But then as a kid, it was blonde. It was, like, white. And then it got darker and darker throughout the years. So I think my natural hair colour would probably be, like... Is it strawberry blonde? Or, like, in between brunette and blonde? I don't know. It's, like, the very, like, brown slash blonde. And it, not, it used to have heaps of blonde streaks in it. Like, I naturally had lots of blonde streaks. But I fucked that shit up. Bleached my hair too many times. Now I dyed it black, so I'm never going to see that shit again. Unless I shave my head. <laughs> Dirty blonde. That, that sounds about right. <laughs> split dyed red Rhea was an error yeah so like looking back at it I'm pretty sure the photos for inspiration that I got that hairstyle from was from Ash Costello which is so wild because then she sang my song um, but I think it, I, I think I found photos of her before I even knew that she was in a band and I think I just copied her because it looked cool um, back in the Tumblr days <laughs> Just seeing all my band members on Tumblr and just trying to be like all of them, pretty much. <laughs> the dark days of Tumblr. Back. Still going strong? Yeah. Pretty much doing a Q&A over here. Yeah? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Peach towel, yeah. That shit ain't going on TV. They want pigtail Rhea on TV. Who? Pigtail Rhea. Oh. <laughs> that was mental breakdown. That was mental breakdown because he left me to go home. <laughs> I was very lonely and bored. I was trying out hairstyles. Away. Yeah, he's crying. Hi guys, don't steal it for much longer. I need it. You need me? Yeah. For what? You never need me. Hey, yeah. Watch ah. Relaxation. Relaxation. I don't have any spooky nails planned. I'm trying to grow my nails out, like my natural ones. I haven't put any press-ons or got my nails done in so long. And I'm so proud of myself. Like, they're actually getting longer. Um, I've always chewed my nails. So they're very, like, thin and brittle. But they're getting there. And I'm actually really excited. Like, I've done so well, I haven't been chewing them at all. I've had fake nails since the start, like, my start in high school. So, I'm, I'm really, that's something that I'm very proud of right now, actually. Um, I would love to do contacts again. They're a little bit annoying to wrestle in though, especially because like, most of the time, I do my own makeup, and I'm very sloppy at it. I don't really know what I'm doing, so I get a lot of makeup in my eyes. So then that irritates the contacts, and it irritates my eyes. And also, I just don't want to go too over the top with that stuff sometimes. I feel like simple is better, and I'm sort of just being more of myself. At some point, I would like to do just like jet black, you know, like jet black eyes, like a, like a damn demon. But they're also extremely hard to like. Scleras are so hard to put in, and they're so hard to see. Um, so yeah, my eyes are very, very sensitive. Like just wearing makeup in general, my whole face breaks out, and my eyes, are, like blurry. Like I just, I can't see. So. Yeah, less things in my eyes, the better. Damn, you'd rather tattoo your eyes than wear contacts. That's a fucking commitment. <laughs> that shit. I'm pretty sure that, like, there's a huge percentage of people and like a huge chance that you can go blind from tattooing your eyes. Like I don't think that's very safe. It's probably not a good idea. <laughs> my pups are at my house. I live like six minutes away. So they're at my house and the Brocco man, Broccoli, is looking after them right now. Um, He's a good lad. He's he's got my back. Well, that's too damn bad. You can't hear my new theme. Not until I get to wrestle again. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Hopefully it'll be soon. I'm waiting for it too because I want to post about it. I want you guys to hear the finished edit of it. I'm excited, but we gotta wait. I have to wait just like you guys, so. I guarantee next time that I come out with it, they will post it maybe a few days to a week after that. But I have to use it 
at least once before they post it, you know? My teeth are teeth and <laughs> they're pretty shit actually. I um I have a Visalign sort of thing that I'm supposed to be wearing, but I haven't been because I'm irresponsible as fuck. But my tooth is like lower than my other one, so it hits my other teeth and the food first, so it still hurts. Like just touching it hurts. Um, I had to get it hollowed out and emptied out. I had to get it um, a root canal. I had to get it bleached. Now it's all sealed up finally, and I just have to wait for it to heal. And it's not healing, so I don't really know what's going on. Like, I don't know if I hit the ground, I'd get that vibration through my teeth, because that does happen sometimes. So I don't know if hitting the ground would hurt my mouth, but it's not good. <laughs> I did a number on myself and I really, I really fucked myself up just from a stupid knee. What the fuck? When what? <laughs> really? Yeah. Popcorn? It's a smart one. It's like 30 calories. Popcorn. Do I trust you, Eli? Can I have her back? He wants me back. Say your goodbyes. Alright. It's movie time, guys. I gotta go spend time with this guy. Do you know how to say goodbye? No. Okay. <laughs> Alright, guys. Um... Thank you for all of her questions. She's appreciated it. That's um, fine. But we'll do it again. We're going to watch a movie before we go to bed and get up in the morning and leave the house of Buddy. Okay. Alright guys. Appreciate you. Until next time, we'll be back. Tortilla Challenge and Bean Boozled to yeah. come. <laughs>